Welcome to a new edition of the Neon Jazz Interview Series with pop jazz Americana singer and poet Stephen Blaine on the 2022 CD, The Met. He is currently going through the rigors of COVID, but he's getting better. We talked about living through this COVID life, how he's coped, making this new album that features 10 newly written songs set in a retro cool 1940s American songbook vibe. It was inspired by his time at The Met over this pandemic. We cover some good ground here. Enjoy. How's it going? Let's see. I'm on I'm, I'm my fourth day of COVID, and I'm, uh, I feel like crap, but it's, the fever is gone, so I guess I'm on my way out. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, I, I was just thinking, you know, the last time we spoke was 2019, and Earth was a completely different place. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Man, that's alive. Sure. I, I, I so, preferred it then. Yeah, sure. me too. So is this your first bout with it? Yeah, you know, I mean, I've been uh, with my my wife and I and my whole family. We, we've all been good for for the whole time. And I think I got it at a wedding I went to last week. You know, you, yeah. you get you put yourself out there, and uh, at this point, you have to assume everybody's either got it or or, or something. You know, because it's Fauci, so prevalent. Yeah, Fauci said as much. He said that like almost a year ago. It's like the reality of this is that everybody around you is probably going to get it one, one way or another, whether you know it or not, you yeah. know, whether it's false positive or whatever it is. And I, uh, but, yeah. but at any rate, it's great to catch yeah. back up with you. You got uh, new material that's out, and I want to talk to you about the new album, which is The Mess. I appreciate it. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. So obviously this has been a very trying time for artists. How have you been doing, um, other than right now, obviously, things, you know, you're going through this, but how has everything been going? Interestingly enough, I, I got so so desperate that, um, you know, in terms of performing, you know, when, when we were really, things were, were really bleak and the venues were, were not open at all, I, I went online and I started finding um, poetry open mics. And then, I, and, and then because my lyrics are often uh, very poetic, uh, they accepted me in these different groups. So they, you know, hmm. people will be doing their, their style of, of, of poetry, you know, whatever it was, hip hop or, 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 or slam or whatever they were doing. And, and then they, they say, Oh, now here's Steven. He's going to, he's going to do a song, you know, um, that kind of, that really helped me because I felt I was, I was, you know, interestingly enough, you know, when you do a gig, um, at least for me, even here in town, uh, I don't, I don't get the typically the slots that, 10 o'clock when everybody's out and about, I'll get an eight o'clock slot and there's eight or 10 people wandering around, you know, and, um, in, in these poetry things, there's 10 or 15 people. <laughs> so it's, it's almost, it's almost, it's almost just as good. And you don't have to put on your pants. So it's, it's yeah. really amazing. You know, that's cool. Yeah. And zoom, the zoom thing, the, uh, the audio quality and the video, you know, if I work at that, it's, it's pretty good. So, um, so they are right on. Well, it has to feel like kind of a refreshing rebirth kind of time right now to release an album with the world waking up and things kind of getting to a better place. Yeah, absolutely. And I, 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 I always, I would be, um, even during, even during the worst parts, the Mets, the Metropolitan Museum was always open. I lived near there, you know, and, uh, I would be able to, um, uh, they would still be open. You just wear masks and, and, and stuff. And I'd go in there and I'd, I'd feel elevated for, for an hour. You know, I'd, I'd just look at the beautiful artwork and, and I could smile you know, underneath my mask. And uh, I just realized how much I loved uh, that, that museum. So that inspired me to write a little song. And then based on all the, all the, all the work that I'd been doing, uh, I, uh, somehow this, this, this album evolved and it just turned out to be... Um, Sort of a, an, an homage to um, to the American Songbook, which for me I, I feel very comfortable in that genre. I, I like those chords, I like those rich chords, and I like those progressions, and I like to be able, I like to, to dig in singing those things. And you know, I use my influences, Sinatra and Bennett and Bailey, all these people. I, I, I'm just trying to channel what I've learned from them, and uh, I'm very proud of this album. Uh, the only thing that would have been better for me. Uh, would have been uh, to have a you know a live a live trio. I mean, I did all those instruments, and you know it's it's always a uh, you know 
you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, yeah. um, but, um, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was a lot, it was a lot of fun to do. And I, and I felt, I felt like I, like I, I, I did it the best I could with it. So it's interesting you mentioned the mat, you mentioned art and, you know, having the reprieve. And the thing I think I realized more and more, not that I didn't before, but it got magnified over COVID was that arts really do save humanity. I mean, if we didn't have during quarantine, Netflix, books, visual arts like the mat and music, I mean, what kind of bleak, dark road would we have gone down? Uh, absolutely. And you, you know what else well, save, save at least at least me? Uh, I, I, the second time I'm alluding to New York. I, I, I do love New York, even though we're very troubled these days. There's a lot of stuff going on. But, you know, walking around this town, um, walking through Central Park, um, I, I know pretty much every inch of this city because I'll, I'll try and do five miles or a day and I'll, I'll go to different parts of the city. And I can tell you which, which store closed or which store opened, you know, and on uh. which street. Uh, but it's all part of the art- artistry of New York, you know, this, this ebb and flow of, of stuff. It, it, it's very alive. So, yeah, uh, I, I, think, I think that art really, um, you know, we, we have, I, I like to say, I, I have no choice but, but to experience art and somehow, uh, and then it, it elevates me. And that's probably why for many people, for most people maybe, who are, who are engaged in the, in the arts, they need more. They're addicted because if you don't have it, you feel like you haven't accomplished something, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So what do you hope we all collectively realize about the power of live music as we start getting back to it? Something we've largely been away from for the last few years. Uh, to be honest, um, I, used to, I used to be a little cynical that, that people didn't necessarily appreciate my work um, because, uh, you know, I put a lot of time into my lyrics, just like everybody else, and and, I, and I'll study, I'll study the, um, the geniuses, you know, um, Joni and Paul Simon and Billy and, and Tom Waits and all these, all these great people. And I, I you know, at, 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 my, at my strongest points, I'm not that far off from some of them occasionally. I don't do it all the time, but sometimes I, I hit the mark. And when I'll go out to perform, when I would go out to perform them, um, you know, uh, they're, 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 people were always very pleasant. They still are. I still have gigs, and they, they will they will applaud, and they're very they're very kind. But then if I pull out a Motown cover, it, it's a whole other world, you know. Uh, or, or if or if you pull out, um, I'm also what I'm doing these days is I'm busking in Central Park, which is a brand new thing for me. I love it. I I play my ukulele, and I go in Central Park, and I do nothing but covers, like the Joker. You know, uh, uh, all these old uh, spirit in the sky. You know, the, the early '70s things. Uh, 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 Don't worry, be happy, uh, and and hundreds more. And, and but I'm, I'm playing in front of this little cafe where there's a lot of mommies and babies and, and families, and it's it's the most joyful thing. These kids start dancing, everybody's smiling. You know, so what I what I started out saying was I used to be a little bit cynical that that you know what I considered my art didn't necessarily accomplish what I wanted it to. I, I understand that pe- there's a familiarity aspect. People, people really dig what, they, what they've heard before, uh, what, what they've experienced in their lives, and there's nothing wrong with that. So I've, I've kind of rethought what I do, and I don't just do original sets. I, I, I throw in a bunch of covers, and I'll slip in, um, you know, it's maybe, maybe a 50-50 set these days, 50% original and, and 50 covers. And um, the covers are always fun. I think when, when, when you, as an artist, you, you kind of, at least I went through this thing where I said, you know, there's no way I'm going back to when I'm, I was 18 and just did covers in bars. I don't want to do that. Uh, and, but now here I am, and I'm saying, you know what? I get it. If you, if you do a cover and, and you make it your own, and um, people enjoy it. And even even a little tip, you know, I'm not in it for the money, obviously, right? I mean, there's, there's not a lot of money in, in it at all. Um, but um, but I am in it for the smiles, and I and I get a lot of those, and it's very very gratifying. It's and and that supports my art. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of supporting your art, let everybody know where they can pick up the best place to pick up your new album. Find out about live gigs, anything that's going on in your world. Uh, every everything uh, everything links to my website, 
uh, stephenblaine.com. Everything is there, you know, my, um, uh, the links to all my socials, the link, uh, links to my new album, my YouTube page, where I've got so many wonderful performances, uh, uh, of, of, of a lot of my work that I've done in, um, up in Harlem at a couple of bars up there. And, uh, and I, I'm, I'm playing this Saturday. I'm playing, uh, next week. Um, and sometimes I'll, I'll go as a solo. Sometimes I'll bring a trio. And um, and now I have I have these friends that are my bandmates and it's just a blast uh, to to be able to to work with them and uh, it's 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 a lot of fun it's it's really uh, it's like I don't know how to describe it are you a musician as well No I mean I can I can mess around a little bit on the drums but no I'm I've I've kind of deliberately the older I've gotten stayed away from it I want to be kind of an observer it's like I've already delved into too many things in my life artistically, so I just want to keep music a mystery. If you've never experienced that, maybe you've experienced it in, in other places where where a small group of people contribute towards uh, towards towards the whole, and, yeah. and and they make and they make it the group makes it an experience that is is just um, it's, it's 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 indescribable. You know, yeah. that's what that's what that's what jazz musicians do too. And I, I only wish I was proficient enough to play an instrument with with uh, you know with a jazz group. But um, it's uh, but w- with what I do and with my with people I work with, it, it, it's the same feeling. And um, you know, just just wait, you know, going through uh, the form of the song and then having the sax come in up front and then listening to the the, the I have a cajon player now. She's lovely. And she and she's and she's wonderful uh, because she's she's learning, you know. She's out of Berkeley, that kind of thing. And she wants to do the gigs, and she wants to learn. So she's amazing. It's it's great. It's it's a great thing to work with other people. But I also love yeah. the solo thing. I love the solo thing too because because I've finally gotten good at it. Oh, that's wonderful, and it's great to hear everybody's back at it. Steven, hey man, thanks again. Great to catch up with you. Get better, get well. Until next time. Thanks so much. I really do appreciate the interview. Thanks for listening and tuning in to another Neon Jazz interview, where we give you a bit of insight into the finest players in New York City, Kansas City, and spots all over the world, giving fans all that jazz. Thanks to Stephen for his time, cool, and story. If you want to hear more interviews, go to Famous Interviews with Joe Domino in the iTunes Store. Visit Neon Jazz at YouTube.com. And for everything Neon Jazz, go to the neonjazz.blogspot.com, or you can go to joedomino.com, and there you can contribute via Patreon or PayPal. Until next time, enjoy the jazz, my friends. Neon Jazz.